mighty rocks, guide us with your slimy little body and your sticky, sticky fluid. <laughs> you just had a horrible vision of my parents one day asking the question, what is it you actually do? And then loading this up. Good morning, you shockingly clean for a gamer level bunguses. Welcome to RimWorld on RimWorld. What are we calling it again? Yesterday, I got a little too much RimWorld in my own RimWorld and on RimWorld did the series. It was no more. Was not the mod pack that broke, despite popular rumor. It was uh, base game, base game related shenanigans. Don't worry about it too much. The point is, we have a lot of shenanigans on our plate right now. 24 shenanigans, in fact. We have Spooky Bernard, Spooky Stench, that song by Sting, uh, Fox 20 Just Blaze It, and Rock Man. Oh, and how could I forget? Colonist that lives in a society. The problem is, ah, ah! <laughs> I think this is the person that joined us yesterday. I had to reload back slightly because of my tinkering. Uh, suffice to say, a society is what we absolutely have right now. Are you shitting right in my cornflakes? Oh, for God's sake, the Steel Brothers and the Waster Legion have decided to turn the local area into a battlefield. Why is this happening suddenly? Why is this happening despite the fact that I turned down the frequency of this event? I'm not bloody sure. Are they dangerous? They have full-on plasma casters from the Fallout video game series. This is bullshit. Oh, to be fair, so do they. Well, this could be interesting. Oh! Okay, well, they're all fighting one another. Wait, what the hell's going on? Oh my god, because they're enemies with Wajah and they were just leaving the colony. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare scenario. So, like I said, I had to do some reloading because of base game remote related shenanigans. <laughs> no shame. No, there's no shame in that. That is bullshit. And we all know that's bullshit. Listen, if I didn't reload there, that, that would have been a game over anyway. Is that what you want? The people with the plasma guns were already in my tribal village made of wood. So my plan today, before I was rudely interrupted, is, is pretty simple today. Number one is actually get some bloody recreation in the colony that aren't instruments in calligraphy. Number two, let's see if we can get that final trial for disaster. And then after that, it will be a forbidden technology lost to the ages. Disaster would not want her family members, her daughters, to be put through this same horrible, horrible treatment. She's willing to do it because she loves killing people and she knows she is stronger than your average person. That's, that's like literally the case. The important thing is let's actually start going medieval. We've been in the medieval era for a long time, but this still looks like a fairly tribal base to me. I, I think building one part of the base to have, you know, fully stone buildings, to have maybe stone floors and some more basic medieval furniture that we start moving in that direction would be amazing. It would also give a nice graphical difference between the sort of eastern themed part of the town. Oh, this is before I started building Hotel Bungus. Oh, and it was such a lovely place. It's okay. I can I can get back on that. Don't worry. I, I, I do like the idea. I just want to design it slightly differently this time because it was a bit crap last time. Uh, you know what? I'm sticking to my guns. I, I looked it up and it's actually a little bit too early for inns or anything like that. It's like more of a late medieval thing. Oh, there we go again. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, There's more of a late medieval thing, whereas in medieval era and kind of earlier, people would just share one one big house and they'd all sleep in the same bed which is a little bit weird by which i mean like you'd have the parents and the children all sleeping in the same room that type of thing so obviously we're already a bit more advanced beyond that i'd say let's just keep building the single houses i think that works well for the time being and it also gives us a, a natural reason to expand the base we are gonna have to consider that houses might start being a little bit smaller because we haven't really got a choice like eight by twelve might just have to do it and then divide the rooms up very slightly. I will admit, I'm gonna have to be a bit more flexible about who does what job. It doesn't matter if they're not good at it, it's just we need them to do it at this point. Loads more people on harvesting, growing, tree chopping, the whole lot. This village isn't gonna build itself, so I've also put a load of people on building. I love the idea that someone in the comments said put all the singles maxed out in the quarry so they're forced to spend time together. That's great. I don't think we're quite that desperate yet, but I will take that under advisement. On top of everything else, I've got to remember to convert people. Because right now, we're on a, a kind of slippery slope where everybody's going to start hating one another just because they're naturally different ideologies. And I really want to avoid that if possible. It will start by converting the youngest people first. Gash, my friend. Get bopped. Wait, who's my moral guy? No, it is you. Get bops. Ooh, 79 down to zero. Thank you, Chuck. Good. It's a good job Chuck's incredible at this. And of course, we boosted conversion chance because everybody ages 22 times faster now. That's right. I boosted it slightly higher. I will admit, it feels a bit weird that even now, Ungus, at the age of 80, has gone from being Ungabunga caveman having to invent fire all the way through to effectively early medieval era, right? Generation per generation would be ideal. We're still on our first generation. And in fact, he's working the hardest of anybody. So it doesn't... <laughs> We're going, the man's going to see steam engines. What are you? Oh, 
Cheshire and Stench. Oh my god, there's hope. With Cheshire and Stench. Ah, uh, I thought they didn't like one another. Did I not check? No, I was saving Stench for Roxanne, I remember, because I said the thing about the tentacles that was rather sinful. Oh, amazing. That's one less house we have to build, though. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh my god, if we could get this recreation room, maybe I should just prioritize that. If we get the recreation room, that's less to worry about building. So it might be a bit of priority to go for. <laughs> um, uh, advanced cooking? Never. That's disgusting. How could you? Stupart actually might let us feed the people a bit more frequently. I've, I've always had this mod, but I've never needed to use it because we've always been on top of our food. I will admit, that's not going to happen this time. We, we have a, a frightening lack of food currently, probably because I picked up 25 colonists. You damn slug. Shoe, get out of here. I've added the shoe mod because yeah, animal personhood, we don't want to harm them. Normally, if there was a slug in my kitchen, I would shoot it with whatever is the biggest thing we've got to shoot it with. Can't do that this time, unfortunately. Oh my God, see, this is what I'm talking about. Natalie tried to convert, who's that, disaster to her ideology. Disaster certainty has fallen from some number to another number. Wow, that's really hard to read. Oh, hello. Strap, who? Right, it's the people I've rescued. Are you joke? I had such high hopes then, and you've just screwed me like this. I'm going to put, like, high-priority research for everyone else. So that means Gash will be researching constantly, and fe 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 Oh, the new guy. Do you use such as pumpkin and lentils? I'm not growing those. Can we use belladonna berries? I got a lot of those, fella. What do you mean they're toxic? Hello? Uh, you know what I would like? Oh, I'd like some recreation. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've been asking for a while, but please, like a crumb of recreation. Ooh, medieval cemetery underground vault. This is a fun one I've never used before. It lets you bury a ridiculous amount of shit. Say, for example, you've got, I don't know, a staggering amount of coffee and tea and belladonna berries. Bookshelves, I think, count as recreation. I presume they'd count as recreation. Learning to read would be really good for the colony, so let's do it. Community temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Community center getting a library is what I was trying to say. Normally, this is a problem at the end of Rimworld episodes, but I've already spent six hours staring at it today to, to stop all the problems and to optimize things, and now I'm already mad. I sound like the pig from Looney Tunes. Oh my God, just piss off. No. No. Oh my God, it's you. Okay, we got a conspiracy theory here. Hang on, let me put on my tinfoil hat. How many times have you, home Rim Rim, seen this name pop up in your game recently? For me, this name, Joshua Marjo, always pop up. And Stench. Bloody Stench as well. Have these people somehow managed to get like a dozen of the same name into Rim Rim or something? Because I see it so bloody often. I'm not going mad. I think what we'll say is having 26 people at once, it's torturous, I'll admit. Having this is temporary until we get a good amount of varied genes into the colony. Maybe then we'll cut things down a bit. Because it's really hard to focus on particular characters and make them stand out when there's... Uh, 26 of them. On the plus side, this was quite big brain. I did set it up so the more people we have, the more research projects we get access to. Author desk. I wonder if that counts as recreation. I think what we're looking for is rustic furniture. Your chaplain can cast abilities again. That would be my good friend, Chuck. Hello, who's next on the list to set on the right path? I mean, our people would absolutely believe the rocks is the right path. Look at all the rocks has given us. What do you mean hostile? Oh, because it just ticked down. Oh, it just naturally fell below. Oh, shit. Well, they're not going to attack us yet, right? We're just a, 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 an early medieval village. They're not going to give that much of a shit. Right, let's get you converted. Welcome to the House of the Rocks. Oh, 2.3%. Damn you. New lovers. Oh, my God. This is actually working. Hello. Inigo and Bernard. Oh, but Inigo's like 48. I don't know when the fertility drops off. Curly, curly earlier than 48. That's nice. That's nice that they found love here, though. That's really nice to see. And it's one less house for me to build again. Beauty, beauty really is in the eye of the beholder in this case, I think. Sleep paralysis demon looking ass get out of here. <laughs> it's just horrifying. It's not quite as bad as... Who did Stench get in a relationship with again? Cheshire Cat. Sorry. Oh, God. Here we go. A group of disciples from the Divine Order. You were the people who stole my bloody statues last time. They're very spidery and 
Bugsy. Four of our people are out because of the plague. They're going to be totally fine. That medicine that we spent ages growing crops for is, is, is doing wonders here. So we've got to be careful not to draft those up. Everyone else, though... Oh, God, I'm realizing we don't have enough weapons. Actually, someone in the comments last time said we should build a hill fort somewhere. Or, or like a longhouse. Somewhere that we can stand all our people in, shoot out of the windows, or or build traps around, make it a, a somewhere that's defensible. Rather than right now, where we just stand amongst the trees and hope for the best. Although... We'll be doing okay. Hey, uh, where's disaster? Disaster, it might be your time to shine, my friend. Let's see if all those experiments were worthwhile. I'm going to put you on search and destroy and just see what we can... Ah, oh, they have explosives, don't they? See what we can do with you, I suppose. Get him. She needs a better weapon. And in fact, you need better armor too, because as I recall... Yeah, you got 20% sharp armor, so just be careful. You did just decapitate that man. Watch out! There's a fox knight! Oh, God. Oh, God, be careful. Oh, shit. Those bloody grenades. Uh, you know what? Let's just say search and destroy, because at least that way they'll potentially path randomly. Oh. Hey, can we use that? Do we have that research? Divine order equipment. No, we don't. And you're immediately down. You were shot by a pistol, to be fair, which is, which is quite reasonable. Start moving. Oh, my God. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. You've just got you've got to got to keep under control. Just don't panic. Combat command is is somewhere in here. Let's throw one of those out. They're fleeing. They're fleeing. They're fleeing. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. No, we've got to do something about defenses. This is pathetic. We can't just keep standing here and praying that we manage to dodge all their attacks when clearly. Clearly, that's not working. Is anyone dying urgently? Uh, not super urgently. Gert, where are you, my friend? You're right there. Hey, let's start patching some people up then. I do think fighting grenades this early on and pistols is a little rude, but that's okay. These things happen. How's Ongus doing? Just been knocked down. That's okay. okay. Oh, the rocks is on it. The rocks was on it. I'm sorry. Let's get yourself tending. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to patch in around. It's like putting your mask on on an airplane. You've got to get yours done before you help out anyone else. But you should be concerned about that forest fire slowly encroaching on the base. Ah, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Don't worry about it. That's a problem we can cross later. Right, who needs uh, urgent attention next? Amani. Did I just accidentally draw a build roof area instead of a please fight the fire here area? Oh, no. Oh, God. What do I do now? Do I say ignore roof area? Okay, if we do that, these will still remain roofed. It's just going to be probably complicated in the future. Shit. God damn it. Okay, well, that's fine. Here, just put out the fires, please. Ooh, Jesus, that was close. What the hell? 94%. You're fine. You're fine. Where's Kruft? Kruft might not be fine, though. Are you good at medical? No. Are you good at medical? You're also very heavily injured. Oh, Jesus. Why am I fighting grenades? Why have we got people with grenades? Hey, who can run over here fast? How quick do you think you get to Kruft? Okay, here it goes. Stench deadlift. That's fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't panic. Everything's okay. Oh, you'll be fine. Grief, stay strong. Jesus Christ, I hate it. You're fine. You're actually fine, though. Oh, my God. Who? Okay. And then we got a few... Uh, oh, my God. It's Ungus. Ungus with the infection. Okay. Uh, here, tidy up this room. I understand you're bleeding all over it. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. Disaster's taken over. That's it. I've, I've tried to avoid... Putting up the fences because it, the colony has never really seemed to need it. Or more specifically, hasn't had any re reasonable uh, motivation. This is it right here. This this is the moment. This is the biggest damage a raid has ever done. No more of this shit. Throw up the walls. Oh, what are these? Plaster wall made from lime and eggshells as well as a wooden frame. Oh. Well, that would be cool to give a bit more variation to our eastern themed area. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Um, Palisades. Palisades. I mean, you have palisades all the way in the tribal area, so I feel like this is more reasonable. Um, let's go. Shit, how am I supposed to palisade around this? Look at this damn base. You could palisade around... Around the road entrances to the base? Try and connect up the mountains? That would be very expensive, and that would be a massive task with a lot of very easy to breach areas let's get these basic walls put up and then we'll do better walls kind of around the base more secure a bit more a bit more on theme this will just do as, as defending our borders so to speak i don't expect this will actually stop anyone oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> what a nightmare stop tend those with medicine you fool okay um on the plus side, we're probably not going to have to worry about this many people for long. This is fine. This is fine. This is absolutely not a problem. Oh, fuck off. You, you've killed me. You, this raid has absolutely killed me. You've, you've totally ruined this. So here's the problem. Even with good treatment, Ungus and Chuck are old. They're 82. 
any infection is probably going to kill them. I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to do what I can to keep all these people alive because we have a lot of herbalism going on. So we're going to slap them with the herbal powder that accelerates natural healing. Elixir of soothing just to help take the pain away. You never know. They might be able to stand up and... At least for some of these medical experts, might be able to help out a little bit. Oh my god, that's enough to get Ungus up. Okay, so if we use that on Chuck, that will get Chuck up, and then we can preach health on whoever we deem important. 70% hen quality. Oh my god, and it's still... Look, it's nowhere near enough. Good god, how's Ungus looking? That is a 41% hen quality in five hours, I think. This might be the end. Oh my god. What the hell is Forest kind experience? Hello, um... Wowie, that was bloody close. Stench is fine. Let's do a quick run over of everybody. You will be fine if Gert actually gets up and tends you soon. I think nothing to worry about with you for the time being. How's Ghostly looking? Rico Ghostly, also fine. Not a problem. Deadlift. Oh, shit. Deadlift. Oh, my God. Okay, so Deadlift is probably dead. They're putting the dead in Deadlift. <laughs> Bestia is 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 fine, except for the fact you've had both legs burnt off. You're totally fine. You melted my whole colony. Oh, Jesus. Well, you've got a lot going on. Stuff that I don't think we're equipped to deal with, to be honest with you. Spore buildup. Just like everybody is absolutely coated in burns. God, this is awful. You're still suffering from the bloody plague, apparently. So is chicken. Um, what have you got there? Asthma, that's not a problem. You've got the plague. You're fine. Disaster is fine. Oh my god, she had a spine shattered. This is this this was a total, total disaster. Total disaster. Oh, don't make an immortal colonist. That'll take the challenge out of it. She's down in the first raid. Amenbo, how are you looking? You're you're redeemable. 51% immunity, 70% 10 quality, 57% infection. That's not a problem. Chuck, my poor, precious, sweet Chuck. Chuck and Ungus, this is it. I, I mean, I can't do anything more. They had really, really good 10 quality. I, I assume 70% is the best we can get in current circumstances because a lot of people have had that. And Gert has like 16 medical. Shit, so the only people we're actually going to lose is Deadlift, Chuck, and Ungus, which is good. That's better than I expected. A house rule going forward, maybe when disaster takes over. She's just going to be like the immortal ruler of the colony sat in her throne, unable to move. That's the coolest aesthetic I've ever heard. Superpowered disaster. This is like a finger curling on the monkey's paw type shit. This is this is poetic. This is amazing. Not for disaster, because she had a spine shattered. Hey, happy marriage between Laura Stars and Cowabungus. She's gonna change her name to Bungus. That's amazing. Not that anyone will be able to attend your marriage at the rate we're going. Don't worry, I'll do my best to take care of you. Thank you, Chasha. If you need anything, let me know. Thank you, Chasha. I I totally get it. Them, let them sleep! Go away! Let them- That's what I hope to. Stop having a conversation with them! That would be the most frustrating thing ever. We're actually just going around waking up all the patients. I hope you'll get well soon, disaster. I've got some terrible news. Oh my god, there goes deadlift. There goes deadlift. Goodbye, sweet deadlift. I'm so sorry. You had so much potential. Unstoppable. Sturdy frame. And what happens first battle? You get blown up by a damn medieval grenade. I mean, it's a shame about that infection because we almost could, certainly could have done something about that. I could have amputated, sure. Uh, except we haven't got any medicine left. Spent it all tending everyone. And this one's going to hurt the most of all. This one is going to be the one that really hurts. <sighs> He's gone. Divine Order. Remember their name. Remember their name. Oh my god, we're dead. Oh my god, we're, we're dead. We're dead. We're totally... This is the end. This is absolutely the end. Do you think the 20... Oh, what have we got? We've got 26 people. Well, we haven't, because one of them is a corpse, and three of them are bedridden. Are we going to be able to fight this off? A lot of these people are still suffering from infections. Creeft. Creeft died! Oh. Oh, that is some bullshit! Oh, I thought Creeft would be totally fine. Oh, that's... Bro, I'm done. <laughs> Those grenades suck. <laughs> You've melted my entire colony. To be fair, probably should have been building more weapons. That's true. Uh, also had a lot of buildings to build, beds to build, trees to chop, food to get. There's a lot. There's like a lot going on. We're still on the verge of starving to death. Like we just, there just isn't enough time for all these bloody people. Too many people, too quickly. Okay, Roxanne, go on then. Pick a few off. See if you can. A menbo has gained a bad back. Happy birthday. At the age of 69. No wonder you got a bad back. Sorry, I thought you were supposed to be some sort of mad crack shot, Roxanne. You haven't hit anyone. Ro uh 
I can't. This is nonsense town. Do you fucking hear me in real life slagging you off? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, way of the bow? Yeah, wrong way of the fucking bow. House bongus are failing us. They are failing us. It's time for a new house to rise up. Uh, house Boozax. House Boozax is going to take control. We're starting a coup. Get them. Kill them all. Slice them to pieces. Yes. Yes. Right, let's crack it. I was saving these in case we had a desperate time. And I feel like this is absolutely a desperate time. And Major Summon. Sorry, what is it you can summon again? Oh, you can summon a fucking dare. Oh, well, that probably would have helped out before. That's okay. That's okay. Again, I was saving it for a rainy day specifically in case of, I don't know, half our colony was down from infections and then we desperately had to fight off a raid. And I feel quite vindicated about that in this particular situation because if I hadn't saved that, we'd be dead right now. We'd be absolutely dead. Hopefully, this is going to be smooth and easy. They bought me herbal medicine, which is a very kind gift. There. Die. Kill them all. Don't let a single one escape. Rockman has 20 mining. Rockman... Rockman! Bernard, capture the Rockman. Everybody take the day off. Go home, lie down, get tended. No more deaths. No more deaths from here on out. It's not happening. I'm very... I'm glad I saved those powers in hindsight. Chuck is gone. And while we were away fighting off the brigands, Chuck has also... I genuinely thought for a second that Ungus had got up and walked away, but no, they've just dumped him in the fucking river. You animals. To be fair, we should return to nature, of course. We're gonna need, like, a hallowed burial ground or something like that, aren't we? We're gonna need a sacred grove where no nobody is allowed to go unless it is for burials. I'm thinking we cordon off a bit of the map somewhere. Maybe like this area. This is nice. This area here. That's our old sky barrel spot. Oh yeah, look at that. We've built all the way around it. Let's reinstall it over here and then let's make this like sacred ground. Let's do exactly that. Unwaveringly loyal, you say. Unwaveringly loyal. Maybe this is where we take a turn towards evil. Maybe this is where evil disaster leads the colony. So those brigands saw the whole village burning and they came over and tried to loot what was left. Oh my god, as we were burying Ungus Bungus, a menbo has died as well. Fire. Fire. Just so much bloody fire. We gotta rally together. We gotta rally together. Uh, maybe Gert takes over the colony at this point. Gert's always been a bit of a hard ass, was born sour faced. We build the walls, we build the weapons. And then we never forget. And I think we can actually bury the bones after Ungus has been eaten by the birds. Goodbye, Chuck. Oh my god, the Roxes have attended. Oh my god, they are legitimately at the funeral. Look, they're not they're not leaving. Ungus may have had the drive and the passion, but we all know Chuck was the real power behind the throne. She was the one who had the brains and the know-how to, to make Ungus's dream come true. Together, they uh, only they could have done this. Apart, never. Never would have happened. Now we say goodbye to them both. You know what? Let's let them be buried together. Let's go build some other sky burial sites elsewhere. Ghosty, my poor friend. 98.1%. I'm furious. I'm full of fury and fire and hatred. Well, so are they full of fire. Maybe we'll avoid the whole fire thing. <laughs> I will kill them all. I will destroy all of them. The brigands, whatever. They're brigands. They're bandits. You know that they're lowlifes. The divine order. I've come here with, with a, a divine dogma. To try and kill, kill us because we're different? Killing them all, disaster. We're absolutely killing them all. It occurred to me I said we would bury them elsewhere, but of course there's another bungus to bury. Deadlift. So we do have the wheelchair mod. Maybe we can get disaster back up at some point. Problem is, I don't think they are going to be medieval. What I thought was a super weapon, this is just like torture. She, she cannot die. She's biologically immortal. But now also can't ever move. Now there's a volcanic winter. I, I just don't... What have we done? Have we been cursed? Have we been cursed? Boozax has gone catatonic because Deadlift died. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I know. I'm so sorry, Boozax. I'm sorry. We won. Who would have guessed that a tribal colony wasn't prepared for? Grenades. <laughs> After a little time patching people up, tidying things a little bit, what, five, six burials, I think? Bestia needs some legs, and that's something we can sort out. And then Roxanne and Boozax, both catatonic disaster, is out of the fight pretty much permanently. Unless we can find some sort of magic way to cure your spine. I suppose we might be offered a, I was going to say, healer mixer. That's base game. There's definitely not any of those. They've actually started work on some of the external walls. These are uh, admittedly more decorative than anything else. Because, of course, they're going to have a massive hole in it. It will somewhat control the flow of our enemies. So what we need around the base are big brick walls. Big, solid, strong brick walls. I can't really do that. So I might just go for bamboo, admittedly. 
Then maybe we make this a bit more square around the buildings we've got. And then we can move the wall. Or more likely, houses will pop up outside the walls, right? I think. Let's take... Uh, let's not go with that wall. Let's go with, uh, ideally, castle walls. But that would be so much adobe brick. We would never get it built. Oh, God. Um, palisades for now, then? I think we just go bamboo palisades. And we'll replace it with a solid brick wall later. Let's get some defenses here. There's going to be a main entrance. So let's just spin that one right the way over to the mountain. I don't really know what to do about the farms, admittedly. We could cut just right through the middle and then move them. I think that's fine. I, I think uh, we're just going to have to cut it back a little bit, huh? Something like that. And then maybe we... I, I'm going to give it a bit more depth than that because it seems a bit boring. But I do want to eventually build this out of brick so we can't make it too massive and too weird shaped. Especially because we'll probably have multiple layers of brick too. This might be where we stick people in the quarry and we tell them to cut blocks instead. If we say chisel blocks... They'll get a shale. We're just going to have to remove the willow grove. I think it takes up way too much room for that. Let's run a fence down there and down there. I'm just going to poke a little teeny tiny hole in the wall just to be able to test that we haven't got any other holes in the wall, right? So we'll just totally seal it off for now. I hate square walls. I'm sorry. I can't do it to myself. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. We'll do something a bit more artistic. I know. I know I need to defend the base, okay? I get it. I understand. What's the point of having a base worth defending if it looks like shit? And to be fair, bamboo walls have a hit point of 225. This is temporary, okay? Because this is going to look bloody hideous. Let's build the walls in a way that matches, uh, that, that conforms to the shape of the base. I might also not build around the quarry like that because it makes it look very strange. Like, I like one big solid wall around the whole thing, but this is like right in the bloody way, isn't it? What if we went like up and round like that? Ooh, I think that looks better. Maybe that. Maybe that's it. It looks okay. Maybe that's it. Walls, walls in real life aren't going to be perfectly straight like that. It doesn't make any sense. We also wouldn't want to expend more bricks than we've got. So we definitely don't want to include, like, all of this area. That would be nice to have. Our people can still go there. It just means that if there are raiders, it's less places to defend from. And we haven't got to spend so many resources. And the best part is it's made of tremendously fast-growing, but tremendously flammable bamboo. This is a horrible idea, isn't it? Like I said, temporary. We'll get adobe bricks. We'll try and find some better way to get bricks. All the... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Um, All the shale. Maybe... What the... F Where are these skulls coming from? Are you getting them from the quarry? I think we ramp up quarry procedures for everybody as part of disaster. Maybe dictator disaster wants this to happen. And I like the idea in the industrial era of making it perfectly straight and perfectly solid and then follow whatever the, the kind of base design is when we get up to that era. If, if we get up to that era. You never know, maybe they'll send more fire grenades. You know the worst part? I've been working a lot of stuff behind the scenes to set us up for the future. Bills and weapon crafting, smelting stuff down. More importantly, more importantly, before any of those raids, I set up the bamboo grand sculpture, or the, the, the tribal sculpture that they've been waiting for for all these years. And there it is. We change the... Oh. The coffee bed's a depiction of Samantha Haxton huddled in the shade and covered in sweat. Her clothes are tattered and torn. Represents... Sam overheating. Uh, me IRL. Hey, uh, can we change the graphic on this? Because I don't think we've ever seen a camel before. In fact, this is on Rimworld. There are, there's no such thing as a camel. You effectively just carved an imaginary creature. I guess, reluctantly, I will tick off build housing. We'll say that's done. I think now that sweet, harmonious, almost hippie level Chuckanungus are gone, we militarize. Merely, merely tarize. Anybody even remotely skilled in building? I'm going to say five or up. You are on building. Oh, God, that limits our people. Anybody capable of mining, uh, more skilled at mining, are going in the mines. Kawa, you are pretty good at mining. You go in. But we got a lot of people with a passion in mining. They will chisel the blocks that we will use to build the Great Wall of Disaster. And now everybody's got the flu. This is bullying. This is bullying. This is bullying. You, uh, my people had the plague. You made them fight grenade-wielding knights. They all got knocked down. You sent brigands. You sent a, a volcanic winter. Two people die or three people die. You follow it up with a friggin' uh, the, 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 the flu? Oh my god, we have the Divine Order research. Their stuff uses gold. Which we might have some of, to be fair. We haven't exactly been using it very frequently. 39. 39 gold. That would be enough to make a few of them. I think let's queue up a few weapons ready for... Oh... To be fair, like the stuffable weapons might be the best way to do it. Let's go craftable. Let's get rid of all the stuff we've actually got. Chainsaw. We obviously, we can't actually craft a chainsaw. Steel ingot divine order. What is that? Great sword? It looks like a great sword. It is a great sword. A pretty great sword. The only problem is we're going to be crafting swords based on the same weapon that killed Chuck and Ungus. That seems disgusting. It seems wrong. Stick with the falchions. I've already crafted a few of those. We did have those queued up, so let's put it back then. Let's get... 
I don't know. Let's always have 10 in storage. Why not? Ranged weapons, we've got nothing really of value. Pistols, crossbows, but again, that's divine order. Throwing clubs are really our best bet. I think we stick with the blowgun, so let's make a few more of those. Again, do until we've always got 10 of those in storage. And armors, armors, let's have a look here. We do have heavy male armor. We've got fey mail, which I think actually we can craft. And now that we've got fey in the colony, I don't think that's too ridiculous to craft. I think that's kind of reasonable to build. I don't want everybody wearing the same stuff and looking the same as, you know, as they tend to in RimWorld. I'm just going to make four of that, you know, uh, and then keep some in storage. Why don't we say, yeah, just keep some in storage when people have it equipped. Make four more for all I care. There are these Fabos, which we could build out of bamboo. Ooh. Um, I could be persuaded. I could be persuaded. I feel like we do need some, some good ranged weapons because the blowpipes have such crap Oh my god, and they've got like a lot of range. Lower DPS, of course, and the blowguns have a have that benefit of you get hit twice without you die. They've also got the same range as what appears to be a drum. The one and the other one's a sword. So I mean, let's um <laughs> let's actually make some of the Fabos then. Friendship ended with blowguns. We'll keep the blowguns we've got. Let's make ten of those. Make it with whatever wood you've got. It really doesn't matter. Bones, fine. If you get timber, if you get dartwood, bamboo, I don't mind. Just build them. And look at this. I think we're actually smelting steel, are we? It's iron ingots, but that's okay. Oh, we don't actually have steel research yet, but that's totally fine. That's that's acceptable. We've got plenty of steel. We've got more than enough to craft the weapons we need from steel slag and smelting down enemy weapons. And disaster, you've got to take up the slack here, my friend, and I'm sorry to do this to you so fast. Poor Chuck and Ungus. I mean, if they weren't so old, they probably would have survived fine. Two of those deaths both having like 2% in it or less than 2% in it between that and the infection is, is super frustrating, but that's just how the game goes. I can think of many, many occasions off the top of my head where the opposite have been true and we've saved people when they've only had 1% left. So that's just how it goes. Finally, people have died. I, I feel like it was long overdue, to be honest, and now I think I have a reasonable excuse. And of course, we have a an in-game, in-law story explanation for why our people would suddenly start... Maybe even turning their back on the, the kind of harmony with nature and not really pacifism, of course, but being ignorant of what's actually out there in the world. Maybe now we can double down on it and I not feel so bad. I'm making all those swords. I'm do you're done for. Disaster. I'm getting her back up on her feet one way or the other. We're going to find a way to try and make her capable of moving, whether that is just some sort of medieval wheelchair mod or something like that. It's a cool... It's a cool change to a character, and I'm kind of happy with it, even though it is terribly tragic. Thank you, of course, to the patrons for allowing this series to exist in the first place. Again, apologies there was no episode yesterday. It was um, a messy time in the save game, and I ended up having to scrap the last save game that I'd made to have gone back to the autosave, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but I couldn't find any way to fix it despite my best efforts. Things should be fine now going forward. Thank you to Pine Us, Sucker the Balls, Erica, Atubes, Conrad Mazinski, Fantasus, Zonny the Beard, Blackfield, Pokemon Backer, Kira, Luna Wolf, Orkansa, Spaceman Joe, Jai Guru, Daedras, Cryom, Irish Commissar, Juseda, Altatine, MK Sky, Clotendo, Fat X, Delusional Khan, Dames, Ditchell, Higtastic, Jonathan Cameron, The Confined Badger, Dr. Simba, and The Chicken as well for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for making a little Rim Rim happen. Starfield on the second channel. I do have another second Rim Rim series starting soon on the second channel. Totally unedited. Um, I tried recording the first episode, but it didn't really hit. So I scrapped it, and we're going to go back to it. It is looking at the deserter mod, because otherwise I'm not going to have time to keep up with everything that's being released, right? So we'll go and have a look at that very, very soon. Thank you as well to Toasty Buns, Big Sawaro, Emerald Beam, Nagakure, No Thoughts, Head Empty, Mithrin, What Would Stalin Do, Jizzleson, Richie B634, Fedor, Safate, Bucky, Simon Ratcliffe, and the Merp.